Ever tried to find a moment of peace in the middle of a city? It feels like an impossible task. From the moment you wake up, the urban symphony begins, but it's less of a melody and more of a relentless assault on the senses. It's a constant, invisible pressure that shapes our days and our moods in ways we're only just beginning to understand. I mean, just listen. That isn't just traffic. It's a chorus of frustration, the incessant honking of cars in gridlock. Then, the bone-rattling groan of progress. Construction drills that start at dawn, shaking your windows. Step outside, and you're hit by a wall of sound the endless chatter of crowds, music bleeding from storefronts, and cutting through it all, the piercing wail of sirens, a constant anxiety-inducing reminder of the city's frantic pulse. This constant barrage infiltrates the most important moments of our lives. We see it in the student, unable to concentrate on their studies. We hear it in the remote worker, constantly apologizing for background noise on a call, we feel it in the parent whose baby is jolted awake from a nap for the third time. It's a collective headache, a citywide tension that leaves us feeling drained and irritable. It's like the city never lets you breathe. But here's the thing, this isn't just annoying, this is a serious health issue. When we're constantly exposed to loud noise, our bodies are stuck in a state of high alert. That's why chronic noise pollution can increase stress by 45%. This sustained stress response can raise blood pressure, putting a dangerous strain on our cardiovascular system. And it doesn't stop at night. It messes with your sleep, preventing the deep rest our brains need to function. It's not just in your head. Urban noise is a real health hazard. So what can we do about it? In a world that never stops shouting, many of us reach for noise-canceling headphones those sleek, high-tech shields against the chaos. They work wonders, but let's be honest, they're expensive, and not everyone can afford that kind of peace. So, what if there was a better way? What if quiet could be for everyone, not just those who can pay for it? Picture the relentless chaos of a major airport or a crowded train station at rush hour. The air is thick with rolling suitcases, overlapping announcements, and a thousand hurried conversations. Your head pounds, tension building. You see people clutching their headphones, trying to block it all out, but the noise seeps through. For millions, this is daily life, a constant barrage that chips away at our well-being, leaving us frayed and overwhelmed. But then, through the sea of people, you spot something different, a quiet zone pod. Unlike headphones, this isn't just for one person. It's a public sanctuary, open to everyone, no matter their age or background. From the outside, it's a sleek, modern pod, minimalist and inviting, a soft glow promising refuge from the storm. Inside, the chaos fades away, replaced by a deep restorative stillness. Step inside, and you feel the difference instantly. The walls are engineered with layers of sound-absorbing materials, blocking out the world almost completely. The pressure in your ears subsides, your shoulders relax, and your heart rate slows. This is peace, accessible to all. For the first time all day, you can hear yourself think. Around you, people of all ages and backgrounds are reading, meditating, or simply enjoying the silence. It's more than just quiet. It's a shared space to reconnect, a rare moment of peace in our overwhelmingly loud world. Pair it with acoustic tiles. Suddenly your workspace feels like a private retreat. Imagine a city where everyone has access to a pocket of peace. This isn't a distant dream, but a tangible reality we can build together. Picture public spaces designed with our well-being in mind, where the constant, draining roar of urban life is replaced by a gentle hum. It's not about creating total silence, but about reclaiming control and offering sanctuary from sensory overload. This could mean a quiet zone pod in every bustling airport or train station, a personal haven to decompress before a journey, or simply gather your thoughts. These aren't luxuries. 
they are essential tools for navigating the modern world. But the solution goes beyond personal gadgets. It's woven into the very fabric of our cities. We can build smarter using advanced acoustic tiles in our workspaces and public buildings to absorb the chaos. We can design parks that act as natural sound buffers and invest in quieter public transportation. We don't have to accept chaos as the default. Change begins with a shared belief that a calmer world is possible. If you believe in making our cities healthier and more humane, hit that like button. Your click is a vote for quiet. Share this video to start a conversation that's impossible to ignore. Let's build a movement and show city planners and businesses there is a powerful demand for peace. Let's make some noise about the profound power of turning the volume down. Thanks for listening and for choosing quiet.